Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in challenge mode, taking on some challenges on the workshop. And this one is just called Scrapman. This is the Scrapman challenge pack. So this was made. This was this was made for me to uh, try to beat here. And yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be easy or difficult, but the very beginning of it looks interesting. Let's take a look at the whole map here. So it looks like we've got a rotating wall later on as well and uh it, i'm assuming there's gonna be some wall climbing evo involved so it looks like we have to drive up and around and something is going on up there i don't know exactly what we're gonna have to do up there so let's take a look at the parts we have available all right so it looks like we got metal and wood plenty i hope um and we got two thrusters and also the hint board tells us downwards thrust so i'm assuming that means that we are going to have to wall climb with two thrusters only so i'm going to go with electric engines because i think electric engines are really really good for wall climbing uh we're gonna have to activate and deactivate the thrust with a switch we could definitely use um some suspension some wheels here so we got some big wheels and i love that he gave us some suspension with a mug it's gonna be really useful uh, I'm probably gonna go for the even width seat since we're using thrust and we got six bearings Which is enough for four wheels and some normal steering why we have six of each type of wheel I'm not too sure but uh, this should be good So let's start building ourselves a basic wall climber see if it's gonna be good enough to get us through this course And depending on how long that takes us we may or may not have time for another challenge all right, so I'm going to start by building this thing out of... I'm only going to use wood, I think, because because this is a wall climber, we want it to be pretty much as light as possible. And um, I think I'm going to have the thrusters be on the front and back of the seat because a longer vehicle generally tends to be better than a wider vehicle when it comes to control and turning especially. I'm also going to need to fit an engine on here somewhere too. This engine will go right there. We're just going to make sure our wheels are going to cover that ground clearance for that engine. And then we can also just put the thrust right on top of that. All right, and then we'll have the wheels in the front and the back of these thrusters. And that should give us a basic wall climber that hopefully can get the job done. What the job is, I'm not too sure yet, but that's what we're here to find out. So now I'm not going to be using suspension because we're going to be having a lot of downwards thrust, which is just going to fully compress the suspension other uh, uh, anyways, which is going to make it virtually useless. We should have a working wall climber that can hopefully get the job done a little bit faster than what I have it set to. There we go. I think that's a good speed. All right. Challenge commence. Let's see what happens here. Please be light enough for the wall climbing to work. Okay. This is looking good so far. All right. Uh, interesting. We have to... <gasps> Whoops. That was almost bad. We have to press this button. How do we press that button? What does this mean? Do not enter. So I'm assuming when you press that button, it's actually going to open that probably. But we actually got to press the button. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go forward, turn the thrusters off, turn them back on. The button is pressed. Did anything happen? Did the wall down there open? The button is pressed, right? Like, that's as pressed as you can get. Did it try to open? I'm confused. Here, let's try. We're pressing the button. There we go. Okay, took a few tries. So now it looks like... Hold on. Oh, no, please don't get stuck. I'm going to walk up here. Okay. Where does this take me? There's another button. I can't press that with a vehicle. Wait a minute. There was a hammer. I think there was a hammer that I didn't take. Out of the, uh, out of the, what you would call it? Out of the chest. All right, hold on. All right, let's get off of the thing, please. I'm trying to, <laughs> this is so, <laughs> come on, my wheel is stuck. There we go. Okay, let's turn off, turn off, turn off. There we are. Oh no, I can't get it out of the chest. Wait, can I go back to the chest and get things? Oh, I can, yes. All right, hammer. Uh, we definitely gotta press that other button. All right, let's go on up. I don't know what that other button is going to do, though. All right, let's get on out. Uh-oh, we're stuck. No! 
No. Please fall. Please fall. Yes. Okay, there we go. And then, then we press the button. That almost got me stuck in there. What kind of trick is that? What? Oh, and then we... <laughs> well, the hammer can at least do this. But what? What's the point of that? Is that a trap? Is this literally supposed to be a trap? I'm confused. Okay, well, then without that, let's go ahead and head back down and then see if this is the rest of the course just this wall here. I'm doing it backwards. I don't know why. All right. We go like this. We go over. Oh, now we gotta wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Go ahead, back onto it. Yeah, I think that's it. And go down. And I think we should have the course finished now. Oh, there's a bunch of stable. I forgot to put my stabilizer mug. There's a bunch of stabilizer mugs down there. All right, challenge complete. All right, that was a quick one. So let's go ahead and uh, take on another challenge on the workshop. All right, so we're going to be taking on the parkour challenge here. So this is just called parkour challenge. Parkour seems to be pretty popular. Uh, I might be able to... Oh, boy. This is a very, very bright room here. All right. Oh, it's dark now. Oh, that's kind of cool. Good attention to detail there. Oh, the timer has started. All right. Well, I'm not really... I'm, I'm more concerned about beating these things than actually uh, worrying about time here. All right. So this... Oh, all right. I already messed up. Good start. Good start, scrap man. Looks like there's an elevator here for us to get back up, though. All right. Uh, oh, wow. I jumped a lot farther than I thought I did. This is a great start. This is not going to be a frustrating challenge at all. I just hope that there's no, like... Uh, I can't even get the first jump. I hope that there's no fall zones where you get to start all the way over. What if I don't? There we, there we don't go. All right. If this is a sign of how the rest of this challenge is going to be going, this is going to be a pretty frustrating challenge. All right. I think you just got to aim... Oh, that's a tough one. Cool. Oh, oh, that was close. I wish you could get checkpoints. All right. Okay. Okay, no problem here. No problem. I just gotta hug the walls. That's all I gotta do is hug the walls. All right, there we go. Hug the wall. All right, got it. Got it. All right, number two is done. Oh, do we get... Oh, we get hammers. Nice. Okay, so it looks like I have to hit the ball. Does it respawn, though? We might fall. I'm just gonna hit the ball into there. So I'm gonna go like 45 degree angle and give it a nice hit. Oh, yes. Oh, and it does spawn. Nice. All right, and then we can go across. That's a cool, that is a cool challenge uh, mechanic right there. I like that a lot. All right, we got another dark hallway. Are the lights gonna go down? No, it's just gonna get dark. Oh boy. Whoa. This isn't disorienting at all. Okay. Excuse me, what? I feel like we've just gone through, like, the entrance hallway to the actual parkour challenge. Like, that wasn't even the parkour challenge. That was just the, the intro. Okay, so it looks like we probably have to, oops, we probably have to go this way. Yes, this is, this looks to be the only way to go right now. Man, these are some interesting ideas. I like this. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is rough. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Stairs. Oh, checkpoints. Awesome. That is an awesome idea. So now if we fall, we can continue from here by going up those stairs. That is brilliant. I like that a lot. All right. We're doing pretty bad. All right, no problem. I'm, I'm okay with that. We can do this. We can do this. All right. The hard part is just not accidentally overshooting it. Uh. Whoo! Okay, another checkpoint. No, that is not a checkpoint. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. All right, well, let's get on it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> First
first try. I can't believe we actually did it on the first try. Alright, we got some balance beam stuff here. I think I see a shortcut, though. Dang it. Almost. Well, at least we got the checkpoint. I am so happy for these checkpoints, by the way. Thank you so much for putting these checkpoints in. Alright. Oh, we almost messed that up. Alright. Well, what if I just... What if I just don't press the button? Wouldn't it be easier just to not press the button? There should be, like, a sensor here that makes it automatically happen. But I'll do it the way it was intended to be done. Alright, this one doesn't look too bad. Okay. Um, please ignore what just happened. That didn't count. Alright. Going back over here. Cross the balance beam. And then small jump, small jump. Oh, that's actually kind of rough right there. That slows down all your momentum. That confused me for a little bit. Small jump. Sprint, sprint, oh, sprint, go. Oh. <laughs> that was tough. I was panicking that whole time. You know, I think maybe it might be one of those things where it's just you got to kind of not think about it. You just got to kind of take it casually like it's no big problem. Just pretend like you're just having a normal day. Jumping across random rotating pipes like it's your normal everyday activities. Like this is stuff you do all the time. It's second nature to you, really. Oh, boy. Please don't mess this up. There we go. See, no problem at all. That is how you do it. And now we have a keypad. Oh, but this is not parkour. Wait, hold on. What if I just go under here? Okay, if I go under there, I can't get up there. Makes sense. All right. So, we have something. I'm not. Is there a hint somewhere? Oh. Oh, is that the hint? One, two, three, four, five. That makes no sense. There's five there. Well, there's not that many combinations. We can go on, off, 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 on, on. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that was complete guesswork, but I managed to do it somehow. All right, let's turn this on. Oh, this looks fun. This looks fun. This should just work automatically, right? Guess not. Maybe if I don't sprint, I probably have to not sprint. There we go. I love those things. That brings me back to the early days of Scrap Mechanic. Are these supposed to like... Oh! Those are very effective. I was not expecting those to be that effective at pushing me off the beam there. That's cool. There are some really good ideas in this uh, parkour course. Parkour. Park course. Wait, what? Why didn't that work this time? Excuse me. Excuse me, dwarf launcher. So I'm gonna jump over. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. I'm just gonna hold jump. Ready? Ready for this? I've been denied. Oh, you know what? You know what? There we go. Yeah, how do you like? Oh. Okay, it only fires once though. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, another checkpoint accomplished. So it looks like, ooh, things are getting parkour -y over here. All right, we can do this. Really? Really? That's what you're gonna do to me? That's that's the kind of stuff you're gonna pull here? All right, so it looks like there's a timer. Dang it. I got stuck on it somehow. All right. Yeah, I can't jump forward. What is that? I get, like, lodged into the wall there. There we go. Oh, all right. We skipped those ones. That's good. Now we should just be able to hit the wall here. Was this, like, a radiator? Can we stand on those? Yes. Okay, good. All right. This is a lot without a checkpoint. All right. Here we go. And go, go, go. <laughs> that scared me. No! <laughs> that was an easy jump. Oh, man. This is going to be a lot to start over here. And I feel like I got lucky on this first section, kind of. Yep. There it goes again. I got stuck against the wall. There's some type of, like, thing that gets you stuck there. It must be because that part comes out of the wall. That there's, like, a little tiny lip that you can get stuck against like that. All right. So we got to, like, actually not touch the wall. Oh, no. Oh, oh that was close. All right, now this stuff's the easy part here. All right. Oh, I almost fell. 
Speaking of easy parts. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, please don't mess this up. Right, I'm pretty sure these are all just small jumps. Please don't be something sketchy about this. Are these rotating? No, they aren't rotating. Alright, just go across. Oh man, things are getting even sketchier here. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't go all the way back down. Just most of the way back down. Okay. This part of the course is actually making me kind of nervous. Are you guys afraid of heights? Who's afraid of heights? Uh, whoa. Leave a like if you're afraid of heights. Okay, I think we're almost done. This might be the end of the course here. Please be the end of the course here. All right, and... I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Please don't mess me up here. Please don't mess me up here. There it is. How long did that take me? 12 minutes, wow. 12 minutes to get through that parkour course. All right, that was a really, really well done parkour course. Definitely good if you're not in multiplayer <laughs> and you're the host. If you're in multiplayer, good luck with the input lag on stuff like that. But it's not too bad as the host. It was actually really, really fun. So if you're enjoying challenge mode, definitely go ahead and check out this playlist of pretty much all the challenge mode stuff that uh, I've been doing in Scrap Mechanics so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.